Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 1. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right, now in tonight's shave, I'm using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. This is just a marvelous wedge. Yeah, Barber's Notch, excellent blade out of the 1800s. And for a soap tonight, Henry Cavendish. Okay, guys, this is the lavender version. And I really enjoy this. I'm looking forward to a nice, calm, quiet shave. And I think it's going to be wonderful. Now, I've had that puck blooming. So we're going to pour that bloom water off. And we're going to put it on as a pre-shave. Just like always. Oh, wow. How wonderful the scent is. There we go. Okay. Now, for our brush tonight. Oh, by the way, um, for that Henry Cavendish uh, lavender soap, in the description I will have all of the ingredients and the scent profile for you. All right. And for our brush tonight, we're using my Omega 10,098. Excellent brush. And I've got that puck in my Vanderhagen bowl. Okay, so let's get it going here. And that thing is sliding around, so I'm going to push it down into it and hopefully get it to stick. So now, guys, how you doing? This is the Sunday shave of the day, which means it's the weekend. Hopefully uh, you're doing good. Hopefully you're having a good weekend and, uh, you know, you're able to relax and enjoy some time off, maybe uh, with family and friends. I don't know. You know, hopefully that will, you're, you're being able to at least have a little downtime, right? I know for me, I need that. So now, uh, guys, uh, KJK and Kipros was uh, put, put a comment in the description about uh, getting a cut on the cheek and things like that and how that was uh, for them a really tough area. So I'm going to try to uh, give some tips on that today and hopefully it will be helpful. Yeah. So now uh, my question to you guys though, everybody out there, you know, subscribers, viewers, you know, what is your most difficult section to shave with a straight razor? You know, in the comments, just let me know. That would be marvelous. Uh, for me, uh, really, it's more to do with uh, my bumps, things like that, all the little imperfections. Uh, my cheeks really did not bother me as much as uh, it could have, I guess. You know, my neck has been pretty good as well. So, let me know. What gives you the most trouble shaving with a straight razor? You know, on the stretching thing. And as we go through this tonight, I'll go ahead and, and uh, try to point out what I'm doing. And hopefully it'll be helpful, like I say. Look at that soap. Wow. There we go. 
Okay. Now, this is episode one of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which is with the grain. So now how I'm going to start is I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab my temple right here. And I'm going to pull that up and see how what that's doing to my cheek. I'm going to grab that and then I'm going to move my mouth and put air in my mouth and then take my mouth, point it the opposite direction. So I'm contracting in here and stretching everything to hopefully get nice taut skin. So you pull that up. And then for me, in this section, uh, I'm going to not use this hand anymore. It's just going to be all about the air in my mouth and, you know, what I do with my lips. All right. Now in here... You know, we just have to continue on with that same strategy. That's more of a hollow, but it the same strategy works for me. Now, for here, I got that bump right there, so... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling my neck down and lifting my head up. Okay, just like that. All right. Now, for my chin. Now, this is the only way I can do it, and this works for me. I just smile real big, and that just takes everything in my chin and holds it tight. Now I'm going to hold down here, look up, and that will stretch my neck one way, and then I'm going to stretch my neck down as well. All right. And check it out. Great soap. Really is. If you guys have not tried Henry Cavendish, uh, it really is a, a nice soap. I really enjoy it. And, you know, the scent on this one with the lavender is just amazing. Okay, so now here I'm going to be stretching with my mouth, my chin, and my neck. They got a little bump right there. And as I do that, I'm going to hold down with this hand stretching my neck. All right, so now there's that. I'm going to clean that blade off. Now up here on this lip, it's more, on, you know, on the mustache area and all of that. You know, just watch. I just open my mouth and again, it's just stretching everything to get it taut.
So experiment with different um, facial expressions, you know, and see what works. And here, I'm sticking out my jaw, pushing my lip into my teeth. And smiling. Now, the lip is going over my teeth to try to stretch that middle section. There we go. All right. So there's half of it. Now, I'm gonna switch hands. We're gonna do the other half. Clean off those little spots so we know where they are. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be grabbing that temple, pulling it up like that, see? And I'm gonna be puffing out my cheek with air, and then I'm gonna tighten this side to pull everything tight. Here we go. And for me, that works, see? Now here, same thing, we're going to just puff out that cheek with air. And that's a hollow, so, you know, it takes a little while to kind of get in there. And, you know, you, you're watching me hit it several times. That's how it works best for me. Okay. Now, on this side, I, I stretch more down like this. On this side, though, I'm going to pull that cheek up like this to get over my jawline. Because that works better on this side. Now I'm getting close to the middle of the cheek. I'm going to puff up that cheek with air. Okay. Now for this chin, okay, I'm going to do the same smiling trick, but I'm going to grab it and pull it over. My face is not the same. This is the only way that works for me. Each side is completely different. So you may find that same thing happens with you. So if each side is different and it's not the same the way you need to do it, just go ahead and adapt, all right? And I'm, I'm stretching by lifting my head up and, again, pulling my neck down. And even smiling. 
you know, do what works. Right there, puff up the cheek. That works for me. All right. Here we go with this soap. I mean, great cushion. Excellent soap. Really is. If you haven't tried it, again, like I say, give it a shot. All right, let's finish this off. And I'm going to basically do the same thing here I did on the other side. All right, there you go. Pass one complete. Let's go ahead and get that washed off and see how we did. Oh, nice. Nice. Good first pass. Good beard reduction. All right, there you go. Coming up next is a pass and a half, so click here to see that and how this shave ends. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.